All right, guys, so in this one, this is going to be a literal guide from Meta or Facebook's um, Meta's Guide to Real Style Video Ads. And I just wanted to go over um, their own content to just show you not only um, do we have great recommendations, but this will give you an idea of the information they're, they're giving out, made available, downloadable, appears as a notification to me on my business page. Now, this could be they want me to stay up to date because they know this account um, spends money. So this could be as to why they are trying to help. But let's get into it. So Meta's Guide to Real Style Video Ads. Learn how to boost your online or in-store sales and ad performance by creating immersive video ads your customers will love. But first, why Reels? Reels are relatable and entertaining videos that are changing the way customers interact with ads on Meta platforms, and Reels become even more powerful when you turn them into ads. Now, Reel-style video ads deliver real results, like 16% improvement in cost per result, 13% higher return on ad spend, 29% higher conversion rate, and 11% higher reach. Well, we do know, guys, I'm going to take just one break to tell you right now because any time that Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or anything has something new, your ads will seem to always perform better if they make a recommendation. Like, use these creative advantage and placements. Use this. Use that. Uh, if they give you the option, in my experience, every time I have tested this when they want to try something new, because it seems like they're still always testing, they're still always improving, and it's their new thing... It seems like our ads just do better. Um, table of contents. Reels creative essentials. Two, your next great video idea. Three, how to make real style video ad. Running your ad in Meta Ads Manager. All right, so we, we do teach Meta Ads would be considered the front end um, of ads. And the problem with that is you can't really test a lot of content versus if we set it up in Facebook um, ads in the back end, in the business manager, um, in Facebook ads. I mean, it's a quick way to get your ads out. We do teach both. But, I mean, if you're just going to allocate all your budget to one piece of media, then front-end meta ads, they're designed to kind of help people that are just starting out get started, you know, with ads. So uh, we do prefer to get into the back end and set everything up with multiple different campaigns and, and duplicated campaigns. Um, and then we also like to have advertising for men and women for different buyer personas for companies. And the more information we know about your buyers, of course, the more information um, we can dial into ad campaigns that fit that targeted buyer persona. All right, so success stories, Mimi Wada Surf and El Ray Court. And bonus, Reels checklist for winning ads. All right, so number one, Reels Creative Essentials. Use 9 by 16 video, or in other words, in the aspect, pixel aspect ratio, guys. That would be your 1080 by 1920 if you manually inputted it for pixels. Video to make your... I'm going to just zoom up on the sections here that I'm reading. Real style video ads that use a 916 aspect ratio show a plus 7 point st statistically significant higher average re positive response score compared to non 9 by 16 ads. Build for audio on to make your video captivating. Real style videos add with both music and voiceover show 15 points statistically significant higher average positive response score than those without a sound. Build in safe zones to make your video viewable. The safe zone is the portion of the real style video that will never be covered by the Reels interface, like the profile icon or call to action button. Keep your key messaging and visual focal points in the safe zone for 20% higher click-through rate or CTR. Uh, add people to boost performance. Include action shots or people talking to the camera. Real styles ads that do this have a 27% higher click-through rate. All right. Oh, it's just, okay. Your next video, your next great video idea. So two-thirds of people surveyed have purchased a product or service after watching Reels. Get more online and in-store sales. Trying one or more of these story types. 
your customers will love. Now, when you set up like Facebook ads for Instagram and Facebook on the back end, um, you can upload real style content to appear in those sections and you can manually edit those placements. Um, so I mean, it's just important to include in your campaign because then when you're seeing your budget, let's say if you're spending 100, 200, 300 dollars a day, whatever it is, you are seeing what's performing best. Normally, you know, you test that for a while to see what's performing best and then you select the placements that are performing best. Okay, and then you delete the other ones. All right, so turn a collection of images or videos synced to music into a mini story. Now, guys, we also go into teaching how to make reels in Canva if you don't have experience in like Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, we do teach how to quickly make it, does limit your editing options. And then I also teach how to do reels in CapCut. And I do have even a workflow, I believe that's Adobe Premiere Pro and then into CapCut for just adding the captions and some of the cool looking, um, more trendy type content right now. But meet the insert product name, showcase a variety of images and videos of product details, the product being used or new products for fall, round up new releases or seasonal favorites to build excitement. Okay. The listicle, use an editorial approach, storytelling with text stickers to break down a video into bite-sized chunks. Five ways to use your product. This type of listicle is especially fun if your product can be used in unexpected ways. Three things you'll love about your product. Create a fun size reel of the top reasons customers will love your product. Okay, it's just an example. All right, the Q&A. Answer commonly asked questions about your online or retail store. So guys, just think about your service. What are most customers asking about this? That's also a good tip to have like an FAQ section on your website um, or just, I mean, creating content around that, whether it's a real post image, whatever. But anyways, we're here to learn about reels. So the number one question our customers ask us is, this is a great way to answer the most commonly asked question. Let a customer interview you, an employee, in interview format can create a real-time sense of authenticity and showcase your brand's personality. All right. The tutorial. Give back to your audience by sharing knowledge or making something complex feel accessible. I love taking testimonial videos and um, just having them used across multiple different platforms. And then I like making reels with them as well because right now reels are getting the most views. Um, so... You know, just imagine if you are using customer testimonials to sell and in your ad sets, it'd be nice to have one from a man, one from a woman, because um, they're all going to have different pain points um, that led to their purchasing decision uh, for your company. So, I mean, it's just powerful to have those in your ad sets. But anyways, just trying to help you guys think and be more creative and to stand out in your competitive markets. All right, so show real customers using your product, featuring real customers who generally love your product, and this helps build credibility and relatability. Now, give a step-by-step -step demonstration. Show customers how to use your product in a specific context, such as during a certain season. Now, that's just for like a tutorial type. Now, the behind the scenes look. Show your audience a peek behind the curtain. How we make your product, highlighting the craftsmanship and care that goes into every product into a great way to build a loyal customer base. How we source our materials. Root your brand in transparency and authenticity by sharing sustainability information your customers care about. Okay, how to make a real style video ad. Ads are starting to look more like organic content. Use organic reels, creating and editing features to make native looking content for your ads. Here's option one. Create a reel in the Instagram app, navigate to your Instagram app, select the new post button and choose reel to get started. Tap the multi-clip shutter button to capture and stitch together multiple clips within your reel. Upload your videos or stills from your camera roll. Okay, option two, use reels templates in Instagram. Reels templates on Facebook and Instagram let you borrow the structure and audio of another reel and upload your own visuals. Navigate to the reels tab, select the camera icon in the upper right corner, where you typically go to upload your content. At the very bottom of your screen, you'll see Reel and Templates. Click Templates from there. Scroll through trending templates to pick the one that best that's best for you. You can also find the template button wherever you watch Reels, including in your feed, the Reels tab, Reels content on accounts, and in Discover. All right, running your ad in Meta Ads Manager. 
Now that you have some great video content, let's create your real style ad. In Ads Manager, at the Ad Set level, select Use Existing Post in the Ad Setup section. Navigate to the Facebook or Instagram tab and select the Reels post you'd like to use. Finish setting up your ad, making sure to turn on Advantage Placements and Advantage Creative with Standard Enhancements. Launch your ad. Okay, Ad Creative. All right, two easy ways to maximize your ad performance. Run your ads in the right places with Advantage and Placements. Don't limit your reach by running your ad in Reels placements only. Instead, turn on Advantage. See guys, that's what I'm talking about. If they have something new or something they're suggesting, um, unless you have a campaign that's that's really getting you really good converting traffic or you know whatever your conversion goal is, at least always try a campaign and let it run for a while to test, um, especially if it's a new recommendation. All right, so in this, and in this case, they're saying instead, turn on Advantage Plus placements when creating your ad in Ads Manager to automatically allocate your budget to the most cost-effective placements. Advantage placements recommended. All right, Ads Manager, that's the back end that we're talking about. Now, if you were going to do a front-end ad, that would be just like the setup from your Facebook business page and, and meta ads right there all right now personalize ads with advantage creative standard enhancements automatically create more relevant ads for early every viewer and your audience based on what they're most likely to respond to all right now this is just some success stories if you'd like you can pause it right now and then just go ahead and look at this but I'll just read the headlines. Get inspired by this e-commerce and retail company's approach to real style video creative. Strategy one, pair product slideshow with reels with clever captions. Strategy two, encourage people to visit your physical stores. Okay. El Rey Court. Snake this strategy to bring in new customers and local residents like this U.S.-based hotel. Strategy one, show off what makes your business unique. El Rey Court. Uses video clips of their outdoor hot tub and fireplace, record art and a book collection and live music nights to showcase what they do well. Strategy two, sync your clips to music. Okay, and that's just an example on the right. All right, number six, bonus reels checklist for winning ads. For every great reel you turn it into a video ad, make sure you check all of these boxes. Then get ready for more online or in-store sales and better ad performance. Does your real style video ad, does your real style video ad use a 9 by 16 aspect ratio or once again that's a 1080 by 1920 pixel, uh, add audio and or music, keep key messages and imagery in the safe zone, feature people in your creative, use simple authentic production, opt into Advantage Plus placements when you create your ad, use Advantage Plus creative with standard enhancements when you create your ad. And when you get in the back end of Ads Manager for Facebook and Instagram, uh, just remember that if you don't have an Instagram page, don't select the Instagram. Don't select the Instagram page placements only because uh, what will happen is if they look at your Instagram page, it's going to look kind of just like set up real cheesy and it's not going to look too authentic. It's, it's just not fully complete. So hopefully you have a Facebook and Instagram account. So when you're running ads, Think about adding content and duplicating your ad sets and then switching out the content. Like, you know, let's say if we're targeting men in one ad set versus if we're targeting women in another and have your reels in the reels section to go ahead and try testing them. All right. I hope you guys uh, found this very helpful. And um, this is just Meta's guide to real style video ads. I just wanted to have a little bit of creative input as well to help you along, stand out, be different, and win more. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.